Hello. Uh, thank you for joining me here on Facebook. Uh, my name is Bradley Butler, and uh, I am the executive director and curator here at Main Street Arts in Clifton Springs, New York. Uh, tonight we'll be walking through this exhibition that surrounds me here, Heavy Metal. Um, it is an exhibition honoring the 95th birthday of Robert Ernst Marx, uh, which was this past Thursday, December 10th. Um, we are truly honored to have this exhibition here. Um, it is the last exhibition of 2020, and uh, 2020 has been a difficult year for everyone. I think that goes without saying. Um, but it was especially hard as we had to say goodbye to Robert, uh, who passed away on September 21st this year. Um, I couldn't think of a better way to end our exhibition calendar here at Main Street Arts uh, than with this exhibition uh, of Robert's work. Um, it's one of my favorite shows we've had here, if not the favorite. Um, and uh, I know I'm, I'm a big Robert Marks fan, and I know many of you who are tuning in are as well. So um, I hope that uh, you enjoy this walkthrough, and uh, if you're able to come visit us, that you um, make an appointment on our website, MainStreetArtsCS.org, um, to, to come see the show physically, but also you can visit the exhibition in its interactive format at uh, interactive.mainstreetartscs.org. Um, <clears throat> a, special th a special thank you to Francie Marks, Robert's wife, um, who has been working with us closely on this exhibition. Um, we hope that this show is what Robert would have wanted and uh, hope that it comes across as the tribute that it's, that it's meant to be. Um, so I'm gonna be taking you through the uh, main floor of the you know, the actual exhibition here, and also taking you upstairs to see um, the new Robert and Francie Marks Art Resource Library, uh, which I'll talk about uh, when we get up there. Um, so first, a little walk around. Let's see here. All right. Um, one of the most impressive things about this show is the amount of work uh, from 2020. Uh, there are nine paintings and five bronzes made this year uh, and many other paintings from 2019. Um, and it's just so impressive and inspiring that an artist with a seven decade career uh, was so prolific uh, right up to the end. Um, it's just, it's very, very inspiring. And uh, it's, it's great to see all this work together. Uh, now, I mentioned this show is called Heavy Metal. Uh, you may wonder why we would call an exhibition, um, you know, by an artist celebrating his 95th birthday, why we'd call it heavy metal, doesn't seem to fit. Um, it's because of Robert's increased use of gold and metal leaf in his paintings, uh, and also the bronze sculpture, both of which are at the center of, of this exhibition. Um, Robert has used gold leaf in the past, um, but over the last few years had an increased interest in using it uh, in his work. So I'm just gonna talk about a few of these paintings. Um, this is uh, the gold wall over here. Um, so I decided to put all these together and I'm really glad that I did because there's this unique thing that happens this time of day especially. Uh, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it from home here, but when I you know, get real close to this, it's like this, this golden light. It's like sunshine bouncing back at me from this surface. Um, and I've just, it's just a very warm feeling being here in front of especially the gold, the gold paintings. Um, but uh, this painting here is the largest of the work from 2020 uh, and second largest in the exhibition. Uh, this one is called Remembrance of a Graveled Past. And uh, as you can see, it's totally gold uh, in the background. And... Uh, you know, there are definitely are paintings that Robert has done that the background is all one surface, but likely, especially in larger pieces, you know, the background is divided. There's usually some kind of a horizon, you know, whether or not he would call it a horizon, I'm not sure, but um, there's usually some kind of a dividing line that divides the, the space. And this one, there's not. And I'm, I'm really thankful because the way that the gold leaf is applied, it almost looks like this giant golden tablet. So it's just like, you, you feel like it's such a, a monumental piece, which it is based on its size, but just imagining this is like solid gold is just, uh, it becomes an object unto itself. Um, so I'll just show you some details here. 
some great Robert Marks trademark here uh, with this the circular pattern motif and uh, the striping here and uh, I apologize if the the Wi-Fi goes in and out. We are in a brick building, so <laughs> I'm realizing which are the spots that are no good here. So um, just take you closer here on this side. And um, uh, the details in Robert's work are what, you know, keep drawing us back time and time again. And I know for me, just so far in, in the first... Uh, I mean, today's the first official day it's been open, but I've been living with this work all week and um, just keep going back and, and seeing things and uh, considering all of the different details and, you know, what might have been on Robert's mind or, you know, why he made certain decisions on the canvas. Um, you know, these are things that, that we'll never know, but I'm, I'm very thankful, um, you know, to him that it just leaves us asking questions. Um, you know, you wonder... This use of stenciled letters and numbers, you know, are there reasons why this one in particular, you know, these, these certain numbers were there? Or is it just part of the surface? Um, it's just, it's really interesting to kind of think about these things, um, especially as a painter myself. I just think about, you know, the process of everything and, and decision making and, and just wonder, you know, are these just intuitive things that happen or is there a deeper meaning? Um, and so, in addition to the gold leaf, there's also other metal leaf. Um, so right here, this is a, a palladium leaf painting. Uh, we also have a silver leaf painting in the show. And this palladium leaf is very similar to the silver, but you can kind of see, hopefully, in this lighting, that there's a warmth to this um, that doesn't come across on the silver. Uh, and it's just a really interesting metal. And, uh, you know, with this one, there's not a huge range in color um, or value, um, but there's just something about the face, as in with a lot of his faces, um, just such emotion captured um, in feeling. And uh, I was really... I was really happy with the variety of work that uh, we had for this exhibition. Um, there was a great variety in scale, and also given that the, we had the paintings and the sculpture, um, it, it created a nice opportunity for me to, um, to curate the show uh, to be as dynamic as possible. You know, if, I mean, I, I would have loved to have all, you know, large paintings, that would have been great, but it would have made it, um, you know, a little less dynamic, and you wouldn't, you wouldn't see that change in scale, and it just, I feel like when you've got that change, it makes you consider things a little bit differently. Um, and it also allowed for interesting things, at least for me. Uh, if you look at this grouping back here again, you'll see um, all the figures in that larger canvas, and I tried to kind of mimic their grouping. Um, I tried to mimic their grouping uh, with, with the smaller paintings to the side. So you'll see the stacked figures there, and then um, the other two. So. so we'll continue on this room. I'll just show you my favorite view here, uh, seeing through to the other room in that big full wall. And I'm going to show you uh, some of the bronzes here. Uh, this piece right here is called The Philosopher. And uh, this is part of um, a grouping of five bronzes that Robert made this year. Um, and I just, I love this piece. And uh, what's interesting is down here at the bottom, you can see all of these maple seeds here. Um, and the thing that's interesting about 
the way that Robert uses um, the sculpture process. Uh, he's building things up from the surface with, with wax. Um, so he's using a big, you know, a, a large board here, building up the surface with wax and then kind of pulling the figure from that. Uh, but he's also adding in, and um, sometimes it's subtle. Uh, in this case, these come across very much as, as what they are, um, these, these seeds. Um, and it's just, these were placed right into the wax, and then they were um, included in the, the lost wax process for making this piece. Uh, and other times you'll see different objects um, that don't come across as, um, you know, what they really are, um, they just kind of add to the texture, but I just thought that that was a really interesting, interesting thing here. And you can also see the similar motif here with the circles, very characteristic of Robert's work. And that Mark's nose that, that always protrudes out, so. And another bronze here, the Venerable Angel. And again, like similar to um, the painting we looked at over there called Dejected, uh, with all the, the stamped uh, letters and numbers, this one's got A's going all the way around it here. Another one of the bronzes from this year. This one's called Summer 2020. And uh, very timely, the, uh, the face covered there with a mask. And uh, Robert's, um, you know, his, his business really, his press was called Blackbird Press. So you'll see, um, you know, a lot of birds in his work. And that's some of my favorite of Roberts is when, um, when there's birds present, especially in the painting. So this painting is called Keeper of Evil Birds. Okay, and we're also, there's a, some kind of a, a parade happening outside. <laughs> so if you hear that noise, uh, that's what that is. Um, So we'll continue on down the wall here. Uh, so very large grouping of Robert's work here. And I've got uh, the painting called Epilogue right here at the center. Uh, and this one, very interesting, uh, <laughs> boy, had I, had I known we were going to be greeted by such a, a noise outside, I probably would have waited. <laughs> um, but interesting use of the gold leaf in this painting, uh, totally sanded down, almost getting rid of the gold leaf altogether and seeing through to that red color in the background, which was uh, definitely a favorite of his the color. Uh, and this painting here, uh, it's called Lutheran Spinster. This one uh, definitely harkens back to, um, you know, kind of another stage in Robert's work. At a certain point, a lot of the color kind of drained out of the faces here. And so that's what a lot of the show is kind of full of these kinds of faces. Um, so it's, it's interesting to see a painting like this kind of in the mix. Uh, another newer bronze here, Protector of Lost Souls. And this one with a very different patina from the other two that I, that I had shown, having this kind of green, green color. Uh, and again, the bird motif continues as well uh, in this, the bronze door, uh, Legends Are Lessons. And uh, Francie graciously lended us, or lent us the um, 
the Blackbird from uh, Robert's studio. So uh, this was always in the studio, um, no matter where the studio was, um, and uh, used to be covered in years of dust and little bits of gold leaf, um, but uh, it, it's here uh, now as kind of a, a nice symbol. So I mentioned before that you can um, see this show in person. This show is up through January 8th, um, 2021. And uh, you can make appointments on our website, maystreetartscs.org. Um, but if you are either not able to get out or you're not in the area, you can also see the exhibition uh, in its interactive format. You can scroll through and it feels like you're walking through the gallery and a little less shaky than, than you're seeing it right now. <laughs> um, and that's at interactive.mainstreetartscs.org. So we'll take a look at the other, other side of this room here. And there's, um, you know, I would say that I would describe Robert's figures as being ethereal, just by and large. But this painting here just really strikes me as this, you know, there's, there's this movement. Like the figure is there, but maybe not there. And it's kind of shimmering and really has that ethereal feeling to it. This one's called Separated Child. And uh, I don't know, there's something... There's something about it that just feels feels like it's it's moving right before your eyes. So, and uh, Robert would use all sorts of things to use to do the stamping here. A lot of times it would be um, the back of a pencil with the eraser pulled out, and then also you see when the eraser was still in there, um, but just very simple method of making something that's so striking. Uh, and then we got the biggest painting in the show. And um, so this painting is actually from uh, 2012, uh, Stilling the Human Voice. Uh, and then what I thought was really interesting is seeing this bronze uh, from 2001 called Wraith II. Um, and just seeing these two figures, uh, one from 2001, one from 2012, as the same. So let's see if the contrast, there we go. So you can just see that hair and, and how tall that figure is. It's just struck me as the same, the same figure. And I thought that was really interesting to put together like that. And I love seeing these uh, four, these are all called cardinal. There's four of them in the show and just kind of stoically looking forward and just seeing the four of them here, uh, very striking in person uh, or from afar, so. So that is a peak of the show here. And, um, and I think I'd like to take you up to the library um, just to give you a little glimpse of, of what that's about. So hoping I don't lose you. So we're up on the second floor and we also have an elevator. Uh, it easy. Um, and uh, Robert and Francie graciously donated uh, over 200 books to Main Street Arts. And uh, so that kind of started the, the library here. And uh, we look forward to having this be uh, a real asset for the community. Uh, artists, um, anyone who's...
So this is the first modest phase of, of the library, and um, we're uh, currently accepting, still accepting donations of art books um, and also monetary donations to, you know, get uh, the full um, permanent shelving and furniture um, for the library. So, but uh, we're just excited about what this will, will do for the community here. So, and uh, I, I would just like to thank you. Well, I'd like to thank you all for, for joining us tonight um, and uh, hope that you'll either be able to, to uh, visit, it, visit the gallery in person or um, remotely. Um, and uh, again, the exhibition runs through uh, the 8th of January, and uh, we look forward to, to seeing and hearing from you. So thanks again.